Martellus says the comeback is on. You reckon, mate? No shit. So 25 and a half minutes to go here, and Manly still with the ball here. Titans can't touch the ball. Whenever the Titans have the ball, they score. Whenever the Titans don't have the ball, they concede. Australia Bryant says, us as Sharks fans, I do not know if I went the Titans to win or Manly. Uh, as a Sharks fan, you definitely want Manly to win because the Titans would be still within the range of the Sharks. The Sharks aren't going to go above Manly this year, in my personal opinion. Um, they would prefer the teams below them to lose rather than trying to get higher on the ladder, in my personal opinion. So four tackle here for Manly. They're 25 metres out here. Enough, mate. Trebojevic here, and that's going to be... Is this going to be a try here for, for Manly? Yep, it's going to be a try for Manly. Yeah, it's 26, 26 to 24 here to Manly. Jeez, this Titans team is, is bad. Hey, this Titans defense is so bad, man. Every week. Every week. Every, every week this happens. Every week. Every week this happens. Like, every week. Look at this. Look at this poor defense. They all come inside to Trubojevic. He was never, ever running that ball. He passes that ball. Last week, we come back from 30 to 4 down. This week, we give up a 24 to 8 lead. What on earth is this team? Like, what on earth is this team? <laughs> like, what a joke. Like, holy shit, this Titans defense is unreal. Like, what is... Is that Martziu who came off his line there? What is Martziu doing on any planet there? Why is he 25 meters in? <laughs> Why is he 25 meters in? Unreal. He's 25 meters in and leaves Ruben Garrick by himself on the wing. Like, what are you expecting to happen there on any planet there, Martziu? Jody Bryant says, as a Sharks fan, I feel you. What are you talking about? As a Sharks fan, you feel me. You're in the goddamn top eight. Like, you don't feel nothing, mate. You have no idea what it's like to be a Titans fan. You guys won a premiership five years, of damn, five years ago. Like, 23 and a half minutes ago. It's not game over. Like, we're only down by two points, maybe four points. But, like, the point of the matter is, is that even if we win this game, like, what the shit? Like, what are people going to be saying? You know, what, what, what's going to happen here? Well, we, if, if we came back and won this game, why are we coming back to win this game when we're up 24 to 8 at half time? And our wizard says, don't say that the Titans defense is bad. The Broncos wingers come in every time. Don't say that the Titans defense is bad, brother. Have you seen how we lose every single game this year? What planet are you living if you're saying, don't say the Titans defense is bad? What planet are you living if you say, don't, don't say the Titans defense is bad? We were up 22 nil against the Broncos in the first 20 minutes of that game and lost that game, what, 38-28? And like, we were up 22 nil in 20 minutes against the Broncos, and our defense let the Broncos win 38-28. to And you're telling me not to say the Titans' defense is bad in comparison? Like, come on, my guy. So 23 minutes to go here of the game. It is 26-24 to Manly. And second half-wise, we haven't had any ball, and now the game's over. Because the Titans, the Titans have lost their minds now. The Titans have just lost their minds at this point. The Titans just lost their minds at this point. Why is he kicking that ball in? It's going to be a try here for Manly. Like, unbelievable. Like, this, this, this Titans team is legit unbelievable. This Titans team is legit unreal. This Titans team is unreal. Trebojevic here goes to the try and will probably get the try. This Titans team is unreal. This Titans team is, is, is unreal. This Titans team is unreal. This Titans team is dead set unreal. But um, I don't I don't really understand what's going on right now. So it's a penalty here to Manly, but why is it not? I, I don't know. I didn't get to see what happened with Philip Sammy. No one's even showing us anything. We've got 120 people here right now, guys. Hit that thumbs up, please. Let's get up to 100 before the end of the stream. Thank you very much to Rockwood Duckham for the $2 dono and for letting us know where the Broncos are right now and says spoken like a true fan. Appreciate you, my guy. So 22 and a half minutes to go here of the game. Manly here with the ball. Gets the offload away. Try time Manly anyway. This team is unreal. <laughs> unreal. Dennis says, I feel you, bro. I'm a Warriors fan. And we screwed our chances making the eight yesterday. Mate, we were up 24 to 8 in this game at halftime. 24 to 8. We were up 24 to 10 against the Rabbitohs at halftime. You know, we were up 30 to 34 to 30 against the Roosters last week with a minute to go. Or two minutes to go. You know, I don't even compare myself to any teams, at the Titans to any teams right now because this is just the bottle jobs that they do every single week. And they and they should feel embarrassed. And they should feel embarrassed. Everyone on this team right now should feel dead set embarrassed to be out there. You know, just because you have a good first half doesn't mean you win the game. You are young. You are inexperienced. But there is no, exper there is no excuse to lose a game being up 24-8 to 8 at your own home ground whilst you're absolutely demolishing the other team. I don't want to hear nobody coming off the field saying, oh, the ruck is too fast. I don't want to hear no nothing about, oh, Manly are just simply playing better. Because realistically, you're up 24-8 to 8 at goddamn half time and you're letting up to be losing 30-24 to 24 
with literally still 20 minutes to go. So in 20 minutes, Manly's got all these tries. Now, people are going to come out and say this is a Manly Masterclass. Like, shut yo ass up. This is a Manly Masterclass. This is the Titans every single damn well week. And everybody who watches this team knows this happens every single damn well week. This ain't no Manly Masterclass. This is a Gold Coast Titans bloody show. This is the performance they put on every single week. Every single week they do this. And I'm going to sit here and tell you the truth. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, man, you know, um, you know, we, we, we gave it our best. Like, bullshit, we gave it our best. We, we gave it our best for, for one half, and then we disappear in the second half yet again. You know, this is why you come to this channel, because I'm going to tell you my thoughts. If I think my team is shit, I'll tell you my team is shit. And right now, this is disgusting. Right now, this is deplorable. And right now, I will sit here every single week. I'll come back two weeks' time. I'll watch us lose again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Because I've been doing it for, what, 14 damn more years now, right? But the point of the matter is, is that if I think my team is doing shit house, I'm going to tell you my damn well team is doing shit house, and this is deplorable. And I don't want to hear nothing about this being a manly masterclass because it absolutely goddamn is not. They're finding three on one situations every time they go to the left or the right hand side because our defense is so damn well bad. How many points do we give up every single week? We gave up what 35 last week. We've given up 30 already this week. You know, we gave up 48 against the Panthers. We gave up 36 against Manly last time. We gave up 40 points against everybody else every single damn well game. And Garrett kicks the conversion 32 to 24. You know, we should lose this game by 20 points. Should lose this game by 20 points at this point. This is embarrassing. And Titans, if you ever watch this, this, this is something that you really need to drill into yourselves. This is an embarrassment to all the fans who go out every single game and watch you. Every single game, people pay their money to watch you. Every single game for, for 10 years now, over a decade. And this is the shit we get put up with every single week. You know, this is, it's just infuriating for people who actually give a shit about this sport and actually give a shit about this team because there is no excuses here whatsoever. No excuses. NRL for Life says the Titans need a huge reality check, bro. This is appalling. We've needed a huge reality check for 10 years, mate. 10 years. Second half, five tries to Manly. Is this game over? No. Do I want to win this game? Yes. Do I think we're going to win this game? No. Little square face Julian says settle down. Shut your ass up. Settle down. Shut your damn well ass up telling me to settle down. Mate, this is what an actual fan looks like, mate. You know, you can get these pansies online who pretend like, oh, you know, it's, it's cool, man. You know, the Titans, they gave it a crack in the first half, but, you know, Manly were just the better team. You know, you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to tell you my damn well opinion. And this is disgusting. So if you think I should settle down, you should probably damn well unsubscribe. And if you actually like someone telling, telling it how it is, then keep on subscribing. But if you say settle down, man, this channel isn't for you. Set, restart, rock infringement to Manly. 40 minutes out. There's 32 points and there's 19 minutes to go here. So Manly with the ball here. Trebojevic scores a try. It's now 34, 36, 36 to what? 24 with a kick to come. Is it our fitness coach? Is it our fitness coach right now? You know, last week we can do the complete opposite. You know, one half we're fantastic, one half we're shithouse. This week, one half we're fantastic, one half we're shithouse. Rabbitohs, one half we're fantastic, one half we're shithouse. If you know anything about rugby league, you're not blaming this on youth. You're blaming this on whatever's going on within the club right now. Because this is unacceptable on every single on, on every single factor. On every single factor. And yes, I'm going off right now. Yeah, I'm going off right now. But I'll still be here in two weeks. I'll still finish off this stream for, with 18 minutes to go. You know, I, I, I don't give up on the damn well team like most people damn well do. And that's why it's so frustrating. Because people who are you know casuals, they don't get it. They think, okay, Titans aren't good now. I'm going to go back to the beach. I'm going to have a. I'm, I'm going to sit back. You know, Titans are losing now. I'm going to go watch a movie at Rabina Cinemas. You know what I'm saying? Like, this actually is legit. Like, this is my life. I support this damn well team through thick and damn well thin. But, like, I'm not going to sit here and have some bloke come and say that this is the youth and experience. This is why they're doing this. They're at 24 to 8 in this game, and they're now down 36 to 24 with 18 minutes to go. It's a stupid comment. It is. It is a stupid comment. There is no excuses for this. So it's now 38 to 24. They have scored 30 points in 20 minutes. We should get slaughtered just as much as the Tigers did last night. We should get slaughtered like the, Titan, the Tigers did just last night in regards to the fan hate and the fan comments. Because Manly have just scored the exact same amount of points at the exact same amount of time as the Melbourne Storm did against the Tigers. Mike says, if you were the coach of the Titans, which players would you drop for the team? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to um, smash into players. This isn't what my channel is doing. I'm not going to publicly pick apart players because... Um, a lot of these boys I do know personally. I do know off the camera. Um, I hope they see this. I do. Uh, but I'm not going to pick pick apart individual players. This is a team effort. This is a team effort. Every single player on this team was unbelievable in that first half. And every single player on this team in the second half um, has been diabolically shithouse. The Tigers, the Eels, the Titans, and the Warriors are the four teams that, you know, are the teams you feel sorry for because they just struggle. 
You know, cool. The eel, Eels, top four. whoop de do. They're not going to win the comp this year. Um, you know, they've had a long, unsuccessful history too. Tigers, yeah, they won 2005, but they haven't made the finals in 10 years. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this defense. <laughs> Manly try. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. This, this game is really fun. This game is really, really fun. I implore any of you with a YouTube channel to watch your team get beat like this and stream and continue the stream. I, I implore you. I implore you. Um, obviously, if you're new around here and you're seeing this and you're like, oh, this guy's a flog, probably, mate. I am a bit of a flog, but in the same sense, like, look what I have to deal with. Like, look what I have to publicly deal with. I put myself out there as a public Titans fan, right? So I'm publicly responsible <laughs> for what my team does. Um, so that's why it's very frustrating when this happens every single damn week. Mainly been good. Like, don't get me wrong. Second half, they've had all the ball. But what did I say at halftime? I said, the Titans have had all the ball. They will score pretty much every time they have the ball. Second half, if Manly have the ball, they will win. All you need to do is hold the damn well ball. Say this at halftime. No one listen to Blazy. No one listen. I know my team. I know my team. It also says Sack Holbrook, if anything. No way, brother. No way. But he does need to fix the defense. It's getting to the point where it's starting to get to like, come on, man. So knock on there for Manly. Titans will get the ball here. For feed, it'll get to about the 40-meter line. Um, Full-time here, 56 to 24 is the final score. Um, don't know what to say. That's what I haven't said already. I know, don't know, don't know what to tell you. You know, this this happens every week. Um, Titans defense loses the game every week. We're up twenty four to eight at half time and get pumped for the second half. Welcome to the Gold Coast. Um, it's not easy being a public supporter of this club, uh, but in the same sense, I'm still here. I still crack on. I still have a good damn old time. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Obviously, shoot through your questions over here. I'll stick around for about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Zach. Lad. A loyal fan watches the full 80 no matter what the score is. Absolutely. Especially when you're not even on stream. Like, if you're not on if on stream, I see a lot of streamers turn their stream off if their team's losing. I'd never do that. I, I, I want to keep a consistent... An understanding about me that I will always stay by this team no matter what, right? But like, I don't get it how someone can turn their game off or walk out of a stadium early. I don't get it. Like, because you were always planning to go to the game for the full duration if your team was winning. Celeste Shorter says, suck shit, you lose. You got me, Celeste. Oh, painful. Jeez, my God. I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight just because of that comment, Celeste. Uh, Jamie Robinson says, 48 nil second half. That's a great comeback. You reckon, mate? Kickover says, Titans will choke in finals. Oh shit, they won't make it. You reckon, mate?